Hey YouTube family, Mr. Black Mama 305 here with you and today I want to do a video on uh, acquiring your concealed permit. Now whatever the reason is that anyone who want to go out there and get their concealed permit, uh, whether they just want to feel safe when they're on the street, if they're being threatened by anyone and they just want to go ahead and have something to defend themselves, they live in a neighborhood where you feel like, hey listen man, if I'm walking down the street, this is what might happen to me and I need something to defend myself. If you're a worker, you get out late at night time, you're a truck driver and you just want to have something on you and you know you need to carry um, carry something to defend yourself. First and foremost, whatever state you're in, know the state law that can uh, that um, coincide with concealed carry. Not every state has the same um, laws when it comes to you know having a concealed carry. Uh, states like New York, uh, California, those communist states, you know, things are a little different. They work by, they, they go on their own little whatever they do. Uh, the things that apply here in Florida and the things that apply in California and New York are two different things. You can't have a uh, magazine more than 10. Uh, you can't um, have pistol grips on AR, uh, all that stuff, you know, but, um, you know, that's not, neither here nor there. But again, just want to make a really quick video to educate anyone who's thinking about getting a concealed carry. If you already have a concealed carry and you want to um, point somebody to a video who need to watch something, we're thinking about getting their concealed carry. But I want to do this for you. If you already have your concealed carry, then it's all good. Uh, before I want to start, I just want to ask you guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Um, all right, let's get into it now. So I'm, uh, I'm here in uh, Florida. So again, what applies here might not apply to you and wherever you live. So again, check the state laws that it applies to uh, concealed carry. And it varies from state to state what you might do. But the gist of what I'm saying um, applies to pretty much um, everywhere. Um, so the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure um, you have a good reason why you have a concealed carry. You don't want to just go ahead and get a concealed carry just to have it. You know, you need to know what you want to do, why you're getting it, and, um, and, and before you decide to get one. Now you want to do your research, pricing. Now, when it comes to pricing and concealed carry, it varies. You know, you can go on Groupon and you can find um, uh, a lot of people there on Groupon that, that, that do courses. And they'll do it for $30. If you're coming with more than one person, then they'll do it for less or they'll do it for 40 bucks. Um, you know, so uh, the, the prices varies. If you go to your local shooting range, a lot of times those people will have um, uh, people that work at your shooting range that do concealed carry. So that is another place that you want to search for it. Or um, if you go to your local police department, I'm pretty sure if you ask them, hey, you know, where can I get a concealed carry, do a concealed carry course, um, they might have some information there. A lot of people who do concealed carry course will put it on like if you go to like a police station on like the front desk. And a lot of people, a lot of police department won't allow that, but a lot of them will do. So they put that information in down and you can get it. Again, you can go on Groupon. You can go on Facebook Marketplace and check um, under jobs or anything like that and just search concealed carry permit. And then you will find uh, somebody that will um, definitely teach you the class. So that's uh, in terms of pricing, obviously, that's going to vary from state to state. Some places that are expensive, New York, California, probably charge more because of cost of living. Elsewhere, might even charge less. Like I said, if you go in a group, they might even charge even less than what you would pay if you went by yourself. Next thing you want to do, uh, once you find that person or that course, you want to go there and take the course. Now, once you go in and you take the course, guys, this is the best advice I can give to you guys. Once you go in and take the course, make sure you learn everything you need to learn, especially if you go ahead and bought a firearm and you take it to the course. Some people might not have their own firearm, but it's best if I was to do a concealed carry course was go out, purchase the firearm, make sure it's unloaded. Let the instructor know, hey, listen, I took my firearm with me. I'm bringing in. I just want some pointers as how my personal firearm work. Yes, they're all firearms. They have the basics, barrel, grip, trigger, sights, and all that stuff. But each firearm has its own little intricacies and a little different. So you might want to take your firearm with you. And if you can get a little bit one-on-one -on -one time with the, um, with the instructor, you know, that'd be perfect. Now, when the instructor is there, he's going to be up there talking in like a general sense of each firearm. And, you know, again, like I said, they all have the same basic function and the same basic parts. A barrel, slide, trigger, trigger guard, grip sights blah 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 
you know, but with your firearm, some firearm might have a safe a manual safety, some might not have a manual safety. So you might need a course on, hey, how do I handle this firearm if it has a manual safety? What is what's the extra training that I need to do? So once you're in the course, you want to ask as much questions as possible. Don't just go there and feel embarrassed. Oh, I don't want to ask any stupid questions. Ask as much stupid questions as you want. There are no, no questions or stupid questions when you come to something like this. You want to make sure that you ask as much questions about your firearm and firearm in general. When you're there, please, if it's a four-day course, take all the, the days that they give you because there's so much to learn. There's so many laws that you can break. If you carry a firearm, then you don't know the rules that apply to it. So if that is something that you want to go there and just get your certificate and get out of there and we'll watch some YouTube videos, that's one option. You know, But once you're at the course, make sure you get all the pertinent um, information that you need. Stay there for whatever the two days, four hours, three days, four hours, one day, eight hours or whatever, and get all the information on the laws that govern your state or your municipality in, as, it, as it relates to uh, concealed carry. A lot of times people just go and a lot of these instructors nowadays, they don't even do the course. It's so easy. They just go and they tell you, they give you a 15 minute rundown of of the um of the course and then they just um you know they give you the certificate and tell you to go on your way you know so make sure when you take the course do try to find a course that they really put in time you can fire the fire if you can actually get to fire your own firearm and ask questions that's perfect ask all the relevant questions if they have material take it home with you and 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 that that would be the best way to go because there's so many people out here who have firearms or so uneducated as to what to do once they have that those that, that firearm so the next step, once you've completed the course, um, the instructor is going to tell you, hey, listen, man, you're going to get a certificate. All right, that's your certificate of completion. Once you get a certificate of completion, hold on, let me adjust my camera just a little bit. Yes, so once you get a certificate of completion, they might give it to you then and there with your name on it, or they might send it to you in the mail. More than likely, they're going to give it to you right then and there. Guys, don't wait, man, because sometimes the price for these things constantly go up. So you're going to go ahead, get your certificate, go home, look at it, frame it, whatever. Take a, Make a copy of it. Once you go home, you're going to have to go to your local police department or wherever you can do fingerprints because that's the next step. So the next step, so the first step is to find in a course. Second step is taking the course, getting all the information. Third step, you get your, uh, your, 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 um, your certificate, and then you're going to go to your local police department or wherever you can get a fingerprint, like mostly your police department. You're going to have to pay a fee once you go there. It can range from $50 into $50. I don't know. Depending on the state you're in. Here in Florida, I think it's about $15 or $20. Bucks. Once you're going to go do that, now you're going to go uh, take your fingerprint. And with your fingerprint, you're going to get, I get a receipt or a copy of that. And then you're going to put that in an envelope and send it to your state. I think it's your, uh, the capital of your state. Here, we sell it to Tallahassee in Florida. I'm not quite sure what it is in your state. But um, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to send it to your, your the, the, the pretty much headquarters of your state as it pertains to uh, firearms and um, uh, uh, firearms and tobacco or wherever the hell you guys send it. So just do your research. The instructor is going to let you know uh, that you're going to get your certificate. Ask him all the questions you need. He's going to tell you that get a fingerprint and take it to wherever they send it to wherever you need to send it. He's going to give you that information and tell you exactly where to send it. Like I say, in Florida, we send it to Tallahassee. So wherever in the state of Florida you are that you get your concealed permit, you're going to have to send it to Tallahassee with the fingerprints and make sure that you're not a criminal. And um, and then uh, you're going to send that off with the fingerprints and whatever the price that they tell you that they need for um, the processing fee. So here in Florida, I think it's like from when I did mine a, a, little, uh, a, a while back, it was like $100 or something like that, $110. So you're going to end up having to send a money order of $110. More than likely, it's a money order or a check or whatever the hell it is. You're going to send that off to your um, to, the, to your, perspective, your, your respective places, um, the government that you know oversee that, um, firearm, alcohol, and tobacco. And so once you send it off to them, it's just going to be a, 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 a waiting time. And guys, if you have any kind of criminal record, guys, you know, uh, check with your local municipality, your, your court system to, before you go and do the course and find out if you're eligible to have a concealed carry. All right. So that's one of the things that you want to make sure. Don't just go do uh, the test if, 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 if you're not sure. If you know you have something on your record, if you know something was there before, it wasn't expunged or wasn't taken off. Even if it's expunged, make sure that it's not going to be a hindrance to you. So you're going to go ahead and do that. So again, once you send it off to Tallahassee, it's just a wait time. And the wait time very not Tallahassee, but wherever you guys send it. Um, uh, once you send it off to them, it's just going to be a matter of waiting. 
Um, and then you just uh, the, the wait time could vary from four weeks to 12 weeks. So it just depends on um, uh, how long the process takes, how many people are in the system with them. So, you know, um, that could vary from uh, from place to place. And um, once you do that, they're going to send it to you in the mail with me. It, they said mine was supposed to take like eight weeks. It came in three weeks. You know, it just depends on, on, on how busy they are. And then that's pretty much the process. Uh, not much to it, guys. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, when it comes to renewal, I think I'm not sure if each state varies, if the time varies from state to state, uh, because um, I think you have the permit for about seven years. And then once that up, you go to the uh, Department of Alcohol, Alcohol and Tobacco and Alcohol, and then you can renew it there. Here in Florida, um, I renewed mine for about $90. You don't have to go send it back to uh, Tallahassee. I just sent it back to the Department of um, Alcohol and Tobacco, renewed it, and it was. And then they sent me another renewed copy with another expiration date. And you know they'll send you information in the mail that it's um, that it's about to expire. You need to renew it, and so forth, so forth. And guys, that is pretty much it when it comes to concealed carry. I just want a quick point I want to make up, make when you have your concealed carry. When you have your concealed carry, it doesn't mean that you can go out acting like Rambo. Um, you know, just because you have your concealed carry, you should, it's called concealed carry for a reason. Don't go out, you know, printing, meaning you have your, your, your firearm on you, but yet so people can see that it's a firearm. You don't have to show it. You can see the tip of it. You can see the bulge on the side. Don't do that. You're kind of just making yourself a target. If something's happening in a store and you're going to go down and, the, and one bad guy's robbing the, the counter and the other one's behind you and you're there printing, you know, listen, they can pop you in the back of the head. So just be aware. Not all situation means just because you have a concealed firearm means you should go out and take out your firearm and use it. A lot of times there's undercover cops doing their things and you don't want to take out your firearm on, 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 on an unsuspecting police officer. So uh, our undercover police officer. So there's a lot of rules that you guys need to know. You can have your firearm on your property, at least here in Florida, and you can brandish it pretty much. You can show it off and they can't say shit to you. But the second you go across from your, your front of your yard onto the sidewalk, that's the, the, the county property or, or state property, then you're in violation. There's so many little rules that you need, you need to know. Uh, you can't point to that firearm even if you don't show it. You can't point to your firearm and threaten somebody. That's grounds for them to take your firearms away. So there's a lot of little intricacies and rules that you need to know. And that is why I said earlier in, in the video that it, when you go to the course, get all the relevant information because you might have your concealed carry and think you're good and then you come to commit some kind of violation and then you're in, in breach of having that concealed carry and then it's taken away from you and then you probably won't be able to get it back for a long time. So Mr. Black Mamba here, I gave you a lot of information today. If you like the video, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit the, the, the like button. Uh, you know, subscribe to the notification bell. So when I put more wonderful content like this out there, guys, you know, you guys are the first to get it. I see a lot of channels out there. You know, they're putting out a lot of shorts and I try to put out a lot of shorts too, but I love putting out content like this, educating my people to watch my videos. You know, guys, you know, it takes a lot of time to make these videos and, you know, people go out of their way to make these videos for you guys. So if you like it, man, oh, you, if you guys can just give me a like, you know, put me in the, the algorithm, get me on a rotation, that'd be greatly appreciated so I can make more wonderful videos like this for you guys. Mr. Black Mumbo 305 is going to sign out. Remember, if you haven't liked, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscription button. And Mr. Black Mumbo 305 signing out. If you guys go, go ahead, man, hit up, so hit up the, 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 um, the message uh, section. Um, if you guys have a question, I'll fe feel free to answer it. If you guys are out there watching a video, somebody else has a question, go ahead and help them out. Mr. Black Mumbo 305 signing out.